Introducing the new Zenithink ZT180 Android tablet, available now in the United States, directly from the U.S. distributor at www.zenithink.us. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade to the latest firmware, version 0827. This firmware upgrade enables 3G for internet on the move using a 3G dongle, as well as enhances the touchscreen user interface, allowing for a smoother scrolling as well as user friendliness. To upgrade to the latest firmware, hop onto your computer and head on over to www.zenithink.us. Once you get to the site, scroll on down and click on Firmware Upgrades on the right column toolbar. Uh, once you get there, click on the 0827 firmware upgrade and download it. I've already downloaded it to my computer. Uh, it's saved as ZT180-0827 FW.RAR. Just open it up. Um, you can open it up with WinRAR. You can get that program from www.winrar.com or just Google WinRAR. Uh, once you've got it open, extract the folder. You can do that easily by just selecting it and dragging it into your file manager. Uh, once it's done extracting, open it up and you'll see you got their burn tool version 0.72.exe system image U-boat user data. Um, now, you got to make sure that you're running a 32-bit operating system, otherwise the upgrade tool will not work. Uh, you can check what system you're running um, by clicking on start, going to your computer, uh, right click on my computer and go to properties and you'll see there uh, here it says 32-bit operating system so you're going to need Windows 7 32, Vista 32 or uh, Microsoft XP. Okay let's head back on over to the folder. Okay now the next step is going to be to switch off your ZT180. So just do a shutdown Click the off button. Okay, now with your tablet turned off, the next step is to connect your mini USB. Uh, so we use the mini USB OTG. Stick it into the mini USB OTG on the right. That. And I would also recommend you stick the power in just to make sure it doesn't run out of power. Okay. So now with the tablet turned off and the USB and the power connected, um, we're going to turn the tablet on. Now hold down the menu button, which is this circular button here and press the power button. You should see the indicator light will turn purple and then blue and, and then red and now move over to your computer and your computer should recognize the USB device. Uh, it, it, it might pop up and prompt you to install the drivers, it might not. Uh, on my computer it did not so we're going to have to do that manually. To do that click on start uh, go to control panel then click under hardware and settings click on view devices and printers now it's going to appear as unspecified or unknown device so right click on that go to properties then to hardware uh, then to properties again and then click on update driver and then click on browse my computer for driver software. Now here you're going to select the folder where you extracted the RAR file to. So I extracted it to libraries, documents, my documents, Zenithink firmware.
ZT180, and then it's going to be the USB drivers. So remember that original folder that you extracted the ZT180 uh, RAR file to? This one here? You're going to go to that same folder and then you're going to select the USB drivers. Okay, then click Next and let the drivers install. So let it install anyway. Now, if you actually purchase the ZT180 from our website at www.zenythink.us, all this will already be done for you. Uh, we upgrade all our tablets to the newest version before selling them. Once that's done, go back to the folder where the folder that you extracted, uh, which has the driver, and double click on Burn Tool version 7.2. Now, to indicate that everything's okay, you're going to see a green square in the top left. Now, click on Settings, and here you're going, you're going to want to set the correct files for the boot image, the Linux kernel, Linux sys, and Linux udes. So, for the boot image, click Browse, go to the folder where the ZT180 firmware was extracted. For me, that was Documents, Anything Firmware, ZT180 0827FW and then under file types click all file types and select uboot.image okay for the linux kernel this is going to be the c the z image.cui file click browse click on view all files and select the c image.cui for the linux.sys image this is going to be system.image file click browse all files system.image and for linux.dat userdata.image browse all files userdat okay then click save which is going to be the left button and then click start and you should see it load to 100% about four times this will take a few minutes Now, if you don't want to upgrade the firmware on your own, you can buy this tablet directly from our website at www.zenythink.us. Um, all our tablets come completely upgraded and installed with a document reader to read Word files, Excel files, PowerPoint files, PDF files. Um, so you can skip this whole process. Almost done, 97%. Okay, so when it's done on the bottom over here, it's going to say update pipe state colon 0x6 million 6 at the bottom. So you just got to wait for that. And then once that's done, you are just going to. Oh, it has another. Oh, this is the fourth time. 
So basically the final step is once it's done, uh, you're going to hold down the power button for 10 seconds to let the tablet shut down and then you're going to click the power button again to turn it on. Again, you can get the firmware from our website at www.zenithink.us. Um, you can also buy the tablet there and it's shipped directly from the United States from our warehouse in Houston, Texas. Okay, there it says it update pipe state 0x6 million, 60 million, 6. Okay, so now you just have to hold down the power button for four sec 10 seconds. And let go. And then power it back on. Let it start up. And it should be fully upgraded to firmware version 0827. And there you go. So here you see the fully upgraded 0827 firmware ZT180 uh, with 3G enabled. Uh, to see the 3G and get it working, uh, just go to settings, click on settings, and go to wireless and networks. There. And here you can see 3G EVDO in the top left. So what you would do is you would connect your USB 3G dongle and then you would click here to enable 3G EVDO. And there you have it, the ZT180 running 3G for internet on the go available at our website at www.zenythink.us.